And I married a wonderful man who happened himself to be adopted out of an orphanage uh, from Ireland, in Ireland when he was five. And he and I have um, adopted two children, two extraordinary children. So I've been so blessed um, through adoption and then just blessed with a wonderful family. And I just know and believe in my heart that every child deserves a loving and nurturing family. And so we want to make sure that we pass laws and promote rules and regulations, break down barriers, open up the process so more children actually have an opportunity to be part of a family. Well, I'm an adoption attorney and social worker and I do private placement in Boca Raton, Florida. But I've also had the privilege of working with the Gift of Adoption Fund and I'm the president of the South Florida chapter. And the Gift of Adoption Fund helps give families who want to adopt a child, particularly children with special needs, minority members, sibling groups, and older children who might not otherwise get adopted, by giving those families the tail end cost of the adoption. When I was nine, I wanted my own charity, and for I, my parents did not feel like yet that I should have one, and, but when, and so I begged for about a year, and then by the time I was 10, for my 10th birthday, I got my own charity, and my present was the files and the papers that were official, and um, Creative Kids Care is the charity that I started, and I sell jewelry made with 14 karat gold, sil sterling silver, Swarovski crystals, and semi-precious and precious um, gems or stones, and I make jewelry and bracelets or <laughs> necklaces, that, and then 100% of the profits go to ch only children's charities that could help them get adopt, adopted or if they have an illness or something. Um, it started as such a private uh, sort of pursuit that, that I walked into their living room and found this kid who was not their kid yet, uh, who was 15 years old at the time. And I was there for completely different reasons uh, uh, and kind of got, I watched the story happen. And it was so, it seemed so improbable to me. I'm so used to as a writer sort of having some idea of what story I'm looking for and to have this thing sort of land in my lap and and not fully appreciate how profound it was that they were that they had taken this child in who was in many ways adrift. I mean he was a wild child, a feral child. And that that Leanne in particular was bent on transforming him in the same way say my mother transformed me. She became a mother to him very quickly. And to watch the the power of the interaction was was really interesting, very moving. And the book was about, broadly, all the forces in the world that affected the perceived value of this child. And when I first met him, his perceived value was, or right before I first met him, his perceived value was zero. He was, you know, he was someone who society was just gonna throw away. And, um, and then all of a sudden, with nurture, with, it, with it trans, transplanted from one environment to another environment, he is all of a sudden one of the most valuable 18-year-olds on the planet. He's so obviously physically gifted, and he's so he's so conspicuous. I mean, he was 6'5", 350 pounds when he was 15. He's wandering around the streets of Memphis, and it, I just thought, look, if if the world can ignore his value and it can miss the value in him, what about all those kids who aren't so cons whose value is not so conspicuous? And so, but, but the, the story for me was bigger than the story, it was, a, it was a metaphor for something bigger than, it, than, than itself. I mean, it's, it's a situation that we had a big discussion right when the book came out, basically. We sat down and had a family powwow and said, okay, this was thrust upon us mm -hmm. and, and we're going to have a motto, we're going to embrace the journey. I mean, it, it is what it is and there's nothing we can do about it and it didn't happen by accident and, and, and we basically just need to be good stewards of this whole situation. You know, we could be negative about it in a lot of ways, but that doesn't do anybody any good. So let's just be positive, let's embrace this, and, 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 and move forward. And that's really what we've done.